Now, second part under the 1 Samuel 15, 3. As he said, uh, utterly destroy all that they have. Spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. As it goes on, he did not obey the command of God, Saul. And therefore, Samuel says, what meanest thou? He says, um, Saul says to him, blessed be thou of the Lord. I have performed the commandments of the Lord. And Samuel says unto Saul, what meanest thou by the bleeding of the sheep in mine ears and the lowing of oxen which I hear? What that means is the children that you saved, the the things that you saved, they're going to keep bleeding out sinful blood. They're going, it's going to keep spilling blood. Uh, they're going to keep plowing for revenge. Hence the ox, the shitty, dirty work. Um, there he goes on to say, um, I have brought the Abimelechs, them from the people spared the best of the sheep, the oxen, to sacrifice to the Lord God, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. See, that's what you're trying to do here, is bring your own thing to the Lord God. You're trying to decide what morality is. Only God does that. Um, then Samuel said, Saul, stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord hath said to me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. And Samuel said, When thou wast little in thine own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel, and the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. That's God elects everybody, but if they want to rise up and tell God what morality is above his word, then they get cast down. Um, as the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, go and utterly destroy the Amaleks and fight against them until they are consumed, till they be consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst thou fly upon the spoil and didst thou evil in the sight of the Lord. That's exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it where you can decide what what is against the Lord, which is against the Quran, which is against God, as go on to say, and the people took the spoil and the sheep and the oxen, which was to be utterly destroyed, the sacrifice unto the Lord of Gilgal. Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hear can than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. That's every man born, actually. For you have sinned and transgressed against the commands of God. And uh, he says, I have sinned. Forgive me, yada, yada. I will not return with you because you have rejected the word of the Lord. Tell me, do you reject the word of the Lord? Yes, you are. You must repent or you're.